I hope that you've seen the video that I uploaded earlier, like half an hour ago, okay? And then you've come over to this, because today's a double upload, all right? Anyway, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper's Side. How the devil are you? Good. I'm better, thanks. Anyway, today we are looking into the freaky deaky, the paranormal world, because there's a lot of people out there that believe in the paranormal. There's a lot of people out there that don't believe in the paranormal. Do you believe in the paranormal? How many times can I say paranormal within this intro? We'll find out today. Because the paranormal video that we're going to be looking at today is from the channel Mind Junkie. Okay. <laughs> now, Mind Junkie has titled this video 12 Scary Ghost Videos that will make your skin crawl. Crawling in my skin, these wounds, they will not heal. So uh, make sure you go over to Mind Junkie, subscribe, and do the thing, okay? All right, good stuff. Now, looking at the thumbnail, mate, this looks freaky deaky, okay? Some, some, some white bitch. Like, not, no, not what is, I'm not racist. I'm just, like, some white ghost bitch, okay? Right, it's nothing to do with race. Whatever, mate, okay? Right? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> without further ado, Dardilly Day, let's do this. Shh. Go on, my junkie! The Spectre. Gadget? <laughs> this creepy photo was captured inside a haunted hospital in Virginia, USA, and uploaded to the subreddit Ghosts by user Toro2105. Uh. Story has it that a family member visiting a patient at this hospital began hearing eerie, haunting noises and the sounds of tapping on the glass door to the room they were in. Mm. Creeped out, but unable to see anything, they decided to use their camera to see if the lens would capture something and to their horror it did oh okay captured on camera oh, oh look at you you white ghostly bitch look at you with your fucking jaw look at you with your square ass jaw mate huh desperate damn bitch ghostly figure can be seen standing by the door, peering in through the glass. But who is it? The figure, translucent and otherworldly, appears oh. to be watching the person holding the camera. Wow. Many users of the subreddit Ghosts were left spooked by this photograph, with many believing this to be a genuine ghost caught on camera. Ooh, look at you. Mate, that looks pretty damn legit. I must be... Is it one of those, like, you know, when you see shapes and figures and things and you think it's like, i can't remember what that's called but you know what i mean is it one of those or is it actually a spooky wooky ghost user slh63 is convinced and straight up says that they 1000 percent believe it's an apparition you can't get 1000 percent a percent is out of 100 However, some argue that it's simply just a reflection of the curtains, ah. causing an effect known as pareidolia. This pareidolia, is where that's the one, mate. Our minds perceive a familiar pattern, typically a face, where none actually exist. But what do you think? Ghost caught on camera, or just our eyes playing tricks on us? Uh, she has got a massive head, I've got to be honest, okay? Let me know down below. If you're a fan of scary videos, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. Yes, mate, smack that bell. Poltergeist activity. Ooh. This next girl's video comes from TikTok, uploaded by Troy Lego one Troy says that he's been experiencing strange things around his home, specifically horrifying sounds and banging coming from the opposite side of his basement door in the attic for some time, and he suspects it could be something paranormal or Fucking a hell. demon. Troy oh, mate, hang on a second, man. Hang on a second. I, I heard the most horrifying... <laughs> the most horrifying story on tiktok this girl's going through right absolutely horrifying i might do a separate video on it because mate i'm telling you it was right. i'm sorry to tease you there i'm sorry to put you on a cliffhanger 
but I'll probably do a video about it, all right? A short little 10 minute video, whatever. He decides to set up CCTV cameras inside his home to document what is going on. He sets up one camera covering the basement door and one in the attic, both areas where the activity has been happening. The next morning, mm. Troy leaves for work and his static camera pointed yeah. towards the basement records this. Oh. Oh my god! What's with this sound? It's a vibration, mate! Fuck you, mate! F you! F you, mate! F you! Alright? Mate, whenever I have a bit of a break from this paranormal, it starts freaking me out on another level, okay? I sort of like, look at you. I sort of like get immune to it after a while. And then I have a short break and it comes back with a vengeance. Look at that as well. Oh, hell. The ceiling fan starts spinning. Then a banging noise can be heard echoing off the basement door. And suddenly the door slowly opens for a few seconds before something can be heard growling. The door then slams shut for several days. Imagine seeing something peering out from there, mate. Imagine seeing something peering out from there. Just white, blank eyes. Just white. Yeah? Just white, like ping pong balls. Just like with a, a, like a skull face, like Masters of the Universe, Skull Man, whatever his name is. Right? Skeletor. Just... Oh my god, mate. I would shit myself through my ears or something. No activity is recorded. Fucking However, hell. just over a week later, one afternoon, the camera caught this. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Did, oh please! Did that just door just stop? Did that door just stop? Oh my god! That just makes it freaky as shit, man. Oh hell no! Because when the door like opens, it just oh, and slowly comes to a stop. But this just went fucking f you, f you. Please, did it? Because if you did, okay. Oh, it does. It does. It just fucking stops. It just stops, mate. Oh, the chair. Oh. 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 Oh, wow, man. This looks like it's just being opened up normally with a fucking hand. Oh, mate, he's taking Knocking the whole furniture. And growling can be heard coming from Troy's basement. Then the door violently swings open before stopping abruptly. Yeah. The chairs under the dining table can then be seen moving. And then the door to the basement slams shut. But then the haunting sounds of growling and banging follows. door swings open again and a heavy bench then slams into the wall after this recording the activity is so it was a good idea at getting the cctv yeah it was a very wise decision <laughs> wise decision getting cctv again dies down for several days almost two weeks later this happens two weeks later Two weeks. Uh. 
That's gonna go flying. It's gonna go fly. Oh shit! Hey! Is that a gun? On the on the bench? Is that a machine gun? Fucking hell, man. Oh, mate, are you going to go down there? I would. Why is he sliding through the door like that? Why didn't he just open up the door normally? That door's gonna close now, isn't it? I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it, mate. I knew that was gonna happen. It's a bit suspicious that he didn't open up the door normally. Is that because of like maybe string that needs to be pulled? Like I, I don't know. <laughs> Flying kick down there, mate. Literally down with the fucking besties. Ah! That's exactly what I would do. Free spot, free promotion there for the Vessies. A chair slides out from under the table and then slides in a different direction. Mm. Another chair then moves out somehow on its own. Troy arrives home and is confused with why the chairs are there. He checks the house for burglars, but all looks clear. So he ventures down to the basement, but then the door slams shut right behind him. Creeped out, he races back out. Convinced the activity is something paranormal, Troy decides to check the camera footage from the attic to see if it had captured anything up there. And well, he seems like it did. Oh. Oh, look at the bloody orb as well, mate. Look at the Ghostbusters picture there next to it. Look at the orbs flapping about left, right, centre, willy nilly. Mate, that exercise ball's gonna go flying. Oh, look at, look at the fucking orbs and stuff, mate. Orbs not, can not, be seen floating yeah. around the room. Then a little door in the wall slowly slides open before closing shut. TikTok viewers have been left creeped out by these videos uploaded by Troy Lego one Many are convinced that the unsettling footage he's captured and uploaded to his page provides undeniable evidence of paranormal activity, speculating that a malevolent poltergeist may inhabit his home. But what's uh. your take? Is Troy truly being haunted by something sinister? Share your thoughts in the comments. Night visitor. Okay, that was pretty this damn good. entry has really stirred up a debate over on the subreddit Ghosts. A user who lives alone and doesn't typically believe in the paranormal was awoken by a particular disturbance just as they were drifting off to sleep. Venturing out to investigate, they found their treadmill mysteriously running, even more unsettling since it requires a specific lanyard key to activate, which was firmly in place. Hoping to find a logical explanation, they quickly pulled up their surveillance footage. What they discovered was chilling. Oh. Caught on their motion sensor. Oh, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Don't, nah, nah. It's a camera. A mysterious female figure in a white dress can be seen. Reacting swiftly, they arm themselves and check every area of their home, ensuring there was no intruder. They even turned on the floodlights and scanned the surroundings, but all was clear. Delving deeper into the timestamps, a struggling pattern emerged. The light went off, and within a minute, it reappeared, triggering the motion oh. detector. Predators oh, over oh. in the subreddit ghosts were Can we get a maximum 
enhancement, please? To jump into a heated debate with comments pouring in from every direction, amassing over a thousand in total. The top comment by Narrow Weakness 4719 said, If that is a ghost, that's the best photo evidence I've probably ever seen. The woman is definitely facing away from the camera. I don't think that's an actual person. Why would some random woman go in and start up the treadmill and make all kinds of noise and want to wake the person up who lives there? But as always, the skeptics had their say, with some pointing out the clarity of the dress as indication against its spectral nature. But then, yeah. user epic username replied with <laughs> epic username. Where do these rules come from? Ghosts are transparent. If it isn't, then it can't be a ghost. And That's true, isn't it? Right? You automatically think that ghosts have to be transparent. I mean, how many times have I heard stories from people saying that they woke up one night and they saw their gran or granddad or mother or father had passed away as clear as day in front of them, just having a massive talk conversation? They didn't say that they were transparent and going, ah, Don't worry about me. I'm happy. Live your life. And I see a pattern on their clothing, so it can't be a ghost. They have no patterns on their shirts. I'm genuinely asking. I've been interested in the paranormal for years, read lots of books, watched tons of shows and videos, etc., but have never heard of these foolproof rules. Mm. My understanding was we know... Another one is like shadows... Um, sorry, uh, ghosts don't can't form shadows. Like, why? How? Why, why do you know that? How do you know that? Is that a fact? to nothing about that side of existence. Was there some rapid advancements I missed? Their point is worth pondering. With so much unknown, can we truly define what a ghost should or shouldn't look like? Ultimately, the mystery persists. Was this figure the spectral form of a girl in a white dress? Let me know what you think. Yeah, we're, we're, with fucking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle carbs going on here, look. Mate, maximum leg day, please! Shutter Shadows. Shutter Island. Bloody good film. Watch it. Leonardo DiCaprio. Excellent. This next creepy video comes from the Japanese ghost channel, Fourth Wall. In the heart of Shikoku, Japan, stands a house that the locals say is extremely haunted. Two decades ago, inside this very house, a neighbour who was concerned that he hadn't seen the family for a while ended up discovering something horrifying. The family's lifeless bodies in the living room. Ooh. Missing from the scene was the 10-year-old son, later found in the garage, muttering the words, the shutters are scary. Oh god, mate. Bloody hell. The community was shocked as the boy had seemingly vanished out of sight for a year leading up to his discovery. While the son's whispers became the stuff of hushed legends, the plot thickened when the property came under the ownership of Mr. Ishikawa. His intrigue about the property's past led him to a disturbing discovery. A child's drawing depicting the tragic family incident and an unnerving shadowy figure standing nearby. Mate, this is straight from a bloody horror movie, this is. Could it be the manifestation of the dark entity rumoured to haunt the home? Adding to the house's eerie reputation, an attempt to cleanse its aura was abruptly halted. An employee, after encountering the chilling drawing, was struck with an explicable illness, fueling speculations about a curse linked to the home's past. Mr. Ishikawa's interest in unveiling the mysteries of the house didn't stop there. Footage from a camera left recording overnight by a friend of his unveiled unsettling phenomena that few could rationally explain. This is the footage Mr. Ishikawa's friend caught. Shush. Rattling. There's more than rattling, mate. The shutters to the garage can be heard echoing through the empty property. But did you see it? 
while the shutters no. were moving. A mysterious white figure can be seen slowly peeking oh. around the door before it slips away oh. out of sight. Mr. Ishikawa shared this story of the house and this video footage with the fourth wall team via email and, of course, they became interested. Oh. The fourth wall team sends a cameraman to visit the empty house alone late at night and within minutes of stepping foot into the house, he captures something rather creepy. I tell you who I haven't seen a lot of lately is Mr. Hand Actor. You know? I haven't seen him for a while. Oh, shush, 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 Ben. Oh, mate. Oh. Shush. The sounds of someone talking startles the person recording. Yeah. When he looks inside, there's no one no there. there. Spooked by this, the cameraman decides to set up multiple night vision cameras around the empty property, uh -huh. with one pointing directly at the garage shutters. This is what that camera caught. Oh, look! Look at you! Look at you! Oh, my God. Imagine if it just folds backwards now. You see the hands. And then it's just the head just starts coming underneath. Oh, God. Something can be heard scratching and rattling the garage shutters and then a pair of legs eerily walk by before they mysteriously disappear barefoot too. into thin air. YouTube viewers have been left spooked. The harrowing tale of the house combined with the creepy footage of Oof. these phantom legs passing the garage shutters has left many scared to go to sleep at night. Ooh. An overwhelming number are now convinced that the shadows of the past still haunt this home but the mm. question remains Remains. What's your verdict? I don't know, mate. Whenever I see fourth wall, I'm just some of their stuff is just a little bit. Uh, I don't know, but that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Share your thoughts below in the comments. Haunted highway. This next creepy video was captured by a driver named Mitch as he <laughs> journeyed. Hey, I'm telling you, if this again, if this is that figure on the side of the road. Half just the legs, half body. I'm I'm gonna do a fucking somersault, okay? In rage. Along the Hume Highway near Bardia, Australia, a highway that, for some, carries whispers of hauntings and apparitions, stories of figures appearing and then vanishing into thin air. Most notably among these tales is the legend of a ghostly woman who, over the years, has been said to make brief appearances only to disappear without a trace. Oh. One evening, just before 8pm, Mitch's dash cam caught something deeply unsettling. Okay, it's not. Oh, what are you? What are you? What are you? Something deeply unsettling. What the fuck are you? You're hovering! The silhouette of what appears to be a young child emerges and stands ominously in the middle. Well, I, I can't make you out. What are you hovering around there, mate? And why are you glowing like that? Of the road, the mysterious ghostly figure. See the headlights, Ben? No, it's gl I know what fucking headlights do when they fucking illuminate shit, but this thing's glowing, okay? Only draped in a large jacket or blanket, appears to step out towards Mitch's vehicle as he approaches. Oh, that's a good view, man. What is? Here I am. Looks like an old child, like a, a chimney sweeper child. 
vehicle as he approaches. Mitch, hindered by the toy hauler he was towing, found it impossible to stop without risking a collision. Shocked and concerned, his mother, seated beside him, quickly called the emergency services, reporting the unnerving sighting. They later reached out to the local police station, believing their footage might assist any potential investigation. To their relief, they were informed that the child had been found and was safe. Ugh. But the story takes an even eerier turn. New South Wales police later announced that no child was discovered, despite an exhaustive search that continued till the early hours of the next day. They found no missing child reports, oh. deepening the mystery. So, who or what did Mitch's dash cam capture that haunting night? It looks like it's slightly hovering. I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's weird, man. Was it a wandering spirit from the highway's haunted tales or something else entirely? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I've got a clue. Behind you. This next entry comes from the subreddit Paranormal, uploaded by I Mean Who Doesn't Write. Several years ago, the OP took the following photo you're about to see on his mother's iPhone. He originally wanted to take a burst of pictures as a joke, just to spam the camera roll on his mum's phone. But when his mum flicked through the dozens of oh, photos he oh. took, it turned out there was a mysterious dark stain on one of the photos, which she just couldn't quite understand. Oh. Oh, oh God, no, this is going to be creepy as shit, mate. This is going to, this is going to be nightmare ammunition, right? This is going to be creepy as shit. Oh, fuck you, mate. Look at you. Oh, I knew it. I knew it, you shadow bastard. Oh, no, you're going right behind him. Run! Captured in one of the snapshots, a chilling, shadowy figure appears. Oh my god. Oh my god. Looking ominously in the background behind the OP, the menacing figure seems to hover eerily over his left shoulder. Yet, in the photograph taken mere milliseconds later, the figure is barely discernible. Yeah, because those burst pictures, mate, are like, brrr, literally. Wow. Then, in the subsequent shot, the figure has vanished entirely. Inside him, mate. You've got a shadow bastard inside you. Oh. Members of the paranormal subreddit found themselves deeply unnerved by this chilling photograph, snapped That's mere horrible. milliseconds apart from the others. That's Many horrible. users were intrigued and pressed for details. User 1020 Farmhouse asks, aside from that crazy photo, did other strange things occur in your house? The OP replied with, quote, some things have happened to me as well as some of my family members. Fucking knew it, mate! I don't know about the house, but things don't seem very good inside my belly <laughs> and i also hear things now and again you're fucked mate Numbers, but not things that couldn't be explained except my brother's bed shaking and a voice that said go away through the radio in both my brothers and my room we oh. had different frequencies it said it in another language though not english starry fox then what language? How did he translate it? Says, how the f*** are you so casual about that? Yeah. The majority of the paranormal subreddit lean towards belief in the haunting nature of the photo, with many labelling it as an image of a shadow figure. Ba bastard, mate. A shadow bastard. Yet, as always, the truth remains open to interpretation. What's your take on this eerie snapshot? Ooh. Let me know down in the comments. Oh, mate, that's pretty... That's pretty wild. The neighbours. What about him? I ain't got any. Many of us have tales of peculiar neighbours, but this TikTok user took it to another level. While out for a solitary walk, she captured this spine-chilling footage. Going for a walk and I look up. And you decided to record into somebody's house. Like, fucking get a job. And I see my neighbors. But what's that black shadow bastard here? Oh my fucking god, mate! Oh my god, I'm gonna throw up, I'm gonna throw up, I'm gonna throw up, I'm gonna throw up! Oh my god, look at the shit in hell is going on here, mate. 
Oh, oh, look at the chicken. Oh my god, straight from fucking Hellraiser shit that is, mate. I'm sorry about the language today, right? Look, I would have just projectile shat and vomited all over that bloody window. Look at her with her bloody slap head. Look at you. Come here, look. Come here. Oh, God. Bruce. That, oh my fucking God, mate. That is absolutely horrible. Horrible, 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 horrible. Like Let's see it again, because I'm twisted metal black. Oh. The lights can be seen flickering on and off. She looks inside, and her neighbours can be seen acting rather strange. Then, all of a sudden, they all creepily turn together at oh once. Oh my god. Look at your eyes as well, mate. Get some bloody sleep. And stare out. I turn the girl recording. The video then ends there. And... No more videos were uploaded after that. TikTok users were left creeped out to f by this video. Yeah. Many are anxious, speculating about the fate of the uploader, given the singular nature of the video. But why does she come back in like that, mate? Video. However, others argue it might. Mate, shut up. How, how can you turn your head that much, mate, that quickly? Might be a well crafted hoax. But the question it could remains be. what's your verdict? Leave oh. a comment with what you're thinking. Oh my god, that freaked me the F out, mate. The attachment. The attachment. This entry was posted to the subreddit Ghosts by user Uncle Hobbs and is titled Bone Chilling Picture. And well, I can't argue with that. <laughs> Captured in the photograph. Alright, right, I've had enough of this shit, mate. I've had enough of this shit! What are you doing to that poor child? <sighs> what are you to leave him alone, bless his little con socks? A young boy looks straight at the camera, but there's something else. A translucent yellow figure hovering just above him. His eyes, nose. Oh my god, mate. Look at you! Fucking just look at yourself, mate! Sort it, I know you're a ghost, but sort it out, for Christ's sake. In mouth, eerily clear. While some argue it's just a camera glitch or motion blur, others... A, a motion blur, mate? A motion blur from what? What's he done? Jump from something? What's he jumped? What, what is he? Fucking Jordan? Where's he jumped from? Can't shake the feeling that this is something otherworldly. Perhaps even an attachment. Oh. The image leaves us with an uneasy feeling. The kind that lingers. So, what do you think is going on here? Use the comments to share your thoughts. Mate, that's clearly an ear, hair, nose, eyes, mouth. Oh, Jesus. Mary and Jojo. Demons watch. This next ghost video comes from the Turkish ghost hunting channel and you see where they venture up a hillside that supposedly haunted. Legend has it that a demonic creature is rumoured to wander the hillside late at night, guarding sacred treasures from thieves. For the first part of the video, Aziz, Ahmet and the team drive to the area and make their way up the hill. Then, at around 13 minutes into the video, they capture something incredibly chilling. Incredible. <laughs> Oh, wow. What the hell? Oh, look at the horns, mate. Look at this horny bastard! Oh my god, look at it blinking as well! Oh, 
Burayı koruyan bu çok güçlü. Uh, okay, eyes don't glow up. So what have you got in there? Contacts or something? Uh, this seems too hard to believe, man. And uh, why are they so bloody casual about it? Oh wow! Let's look at the face. Come on. What do we do? Run! I'd rather I'm knocking the f out, mate. Oh, you horny bastard! Get a job! Something with glowing eyes can be seen watching the team from the shadows. Whoever or whatever this is appears to be crouched on all fours and has a huge pair of horns on his head like some sort of demonic creature. Yeah. Aziz and Ahmed believe that this is the demonic creature that has been rumoured to lurk up in these hills and their viewers believe it is too. But what do you think? Did yeah, I don't know, man. I don't think if you saw something like that, okay, I don't think you'd be that calm. You'd be shitting yourself. Absolutely shitting yourself. These ghost hunters but encounter I would be a demon on it. camera. I'll leave that for you to decide. Yeah. The Marine Mirage. Okay. This bizarre clip was uploaded to the YouTube channel Deep Sea Oddities and has left experts baffled. Captured during a 2002 ROV expedition off Sanriku, Japan, a camera filming a squid captures something nobody can explain. Oh, this is going to be interesting. What the hell? What the hell is that? Wow. All of a sudden, flash of light zooms past the squid, but what is it? The comment section is awash with theories, with many wondering just what on earth is this flash of light deep in the ocean. Whitney Lake 2107 comments saying, truly fascinating. The object is very rapid, even to the extent the squid did not even appear to react to it. The extreme luminosity is also curious, because it renders the image too unclear for any meaningful identification. There are certainly fast swimming sea creatures, but they can usually be ascertained whereas this object foils any attempt to do so even with the footage slowed down frame by frame a mystery worth investigating further and this year that was a fucking comment and a half wasn't it hey you you guys do some good comments some of them are shit i'm joking i'm joking <laughs> F you, Ben! ...to say is that, regardless of what it is, the thing to note here is that most of the animals that we have seen at those depths are usually stationary or going with the flow of water. For something that is alive, going at that speed at that depth is truly a first for depth. me and gives credence that this may be something man-made. But what do you think this mysterious flash of yeah, light... Yeah, man, do? that's not... like the, Light doesn't move like that in the water, you know? There has to be some... Dang. But what is it? In the ocean could be. Let me know. Mm. The Watcher. Ooh. This next video has been shared before, but it's one I haven't seen featured anywhere for a few years now. Okay. The video comes from the channel Finders Beepers History Seekers. Oh, hey, here they are. Look, hey, man, Andy. Andy visit an abandoned farmhouse built in the 19th century. Located near an ancient castle, the farmhouse's walls whisper tales of its grim past. A previous owner met a tragic fate here, found hanging from the farmhouse's old beams. Matt and Andy explore the old dilapidated farmhouse. I think this is the one I, I've, I've seen before. I think it is. This is the one that actually like popped off and went quite like quite viral. A short while into their exploit. I, I, I say viral loosely because everybody uses the word viral now, but it it hit some views. It's like it's got it for over a million views now. I think. Creation. They capture something which made their blood turn cold. So yeah, we've uh, we've just made our way back down yeah, there, back through the the beams. Where all the pan tiles are. Uh, I must quickly show Andy the um, 
the Kestrel and then we'll make our way around. There's some massive build there should have been some massive buildings up that, that side. But so where is it? Just be further up there. It's, yeah, uh, there, right fucking there, mate. What is that all about? It's still freaking me out to this day. <coughs> Look. Look, it's like the hat man. And listen, I've spoken to them about this. To this day, they ain't got a fucking clue what this is all about. They don't know what this is all about. Here I am. Yeah. They legit don't know what, like, and they would have told me. I had a pipe with them, right? They would legit have told me, Ben, it was fake. You know, it was the owner or whatever. They ain't got a fucking clue. Did you catch it? As the camera follows Andy, a mysterious dark figure can be seen lurking in a doorway and oh. appears to be watching the unsuspecting pair. The pair, unaware to what's lurking nearby, continue their exploration around the old farmhouse. They bring more and more of the liability. Oh my fucking god, I didn't even notice that! I didn't know it was there again! Oh my god! I didn't... I only remember that first clip. Oh my God, you're there again, you little weirdo bastard. Yo, go to the main house. <laughs> again. Did you spot it? Standing in the background to the right of the screen, the mysterious- He's, but, but, Matt's not, he's looking straight there, man. He can't even see it. What's that all about? Dark figure can be seen, standing motionless, again, just watching the unsuspecting pair. Matt and Andy had no idea what they caught on camera inside this abandoned farmhouse and were understandably shocked at both these captures. But the question remains, who is this all black figure lurking in the- Mate, that's like some sort of movie, you know, like some sort of time traveller that's watching or like some sort of dark angel or something. It's weird, man. The background watching Matt and Andy. I'm eager to hear your thoughts in the him. comments section. La La Rona. Oh no, this is freaky as shit. The final video for today is not real. However, oh, it really? is very, very creepy. The creepy video comes from the pop. Isn't that that crying woman? The Nicaraguan YouTube channel, JJPD Producciones, and has left viewers, well, creeped out. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. I don't want this. I don't care if you're not fucking real, mate. I don't want to see this shit. Oh, my fucking God. This is why I'm talking about the white bitch. What the hell? Oh, hell. Imagine if you saw that and it was legit. That would mess you up for life. That would that would change things. Your your life would be going like that, and then it would just be like, F you. There you go, mate. Mind junkie. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. And if you did like it, please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Get the merch at caspersite.com. Just Rambo it.